Hello everybody, welcome back to another unique rare apparel location guide here on Fallout 4. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Apocalypse Left Grieve. Uh, now this one's uh, quite unknown of really and it uh, involves a few things uh, of actually getting it. So to do this you're going to need to get yourself a level 4 trader and it's uh, the Vault Tech Rep. Now to do this you've got to have a couple of things, um, obviously of all level 4 traders you've actually got to go out and find these people and uh, convince them to come back to Sanctuary. But the first thing you're going to need is a, uh, a fully upgraded, uh, sorry, a full maxed out trading uh, stand for them. So uh, that is the Trading Emporium which is the uh, very last one. Um, you've got to have Cap Collector level 2, Local Leader level 2 and uh, quite a lot of wood. Um, and things like that, bottle cap, steel, it costs a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it to have your own trader. So after you've placed that down, you're going to head to Good Neighbour and into Hotel Rexford. Um, a th policeman? I don't know, I thought it was a policeman uh, sweeping the streets then. So head into Hotel Rexford and onto the second floor, and eventually you'll hit a door that will swing open, and the Vault Tech rep will be there. Now this is the guy that sold you, uh, well, gave you the rights to go in the Vault 111 at the beginning, if you remember. He's horribly disfigured now, but eventually you'll get to talk to him, and uh, use a slight charisma speech, uh, which will convince him to go to Sanctuary. Once you've convinced him to go to Sanctuary, save before you try that in case you fail the speech, but uh, all you've got to do is assign him to the uh, Trading Emporium and he will uh, sell you whatever items uh, he wants. And one of them is the Apocalypse Left Grieve. So uh, this grants increasing energy, damage and resistance to lower your health basically. Uh, not a bad little thing at all. It's uh, got a damage resistance 23, 14 and 10 and uh, it will cost you 2,000 caps for that. So uh, yeah, this is uh, thought I'd bring this one really because it's quite interesting that uh, you can actually, you know, get these uh, level four traders. Uh, and this guy is actually the one, only one that really works. Um, so all the others are pretty much glitched. I'm trying my hardest to get them back to uh, my settlements, uh, but this guy is pretty much the only one that actually complied with me. So there's horrible bugs going on with them right now. But uh, there you go. There is the, uh, the the thing on and being worn. And uh, what a lovely stained pair of pants I am wearing right now. That is uh, not a pretty sight really, is it? But uh, yeah, there is the uh, location of the Apocalypse Left Grieve uh, for you guys. So like I said, go ahead, get yourself um, get yourself a trading emporium down, go to Good Neighbour, convince him to come back and uh, you will get him as a permanent trader in your settlement. And uh, it doesn't you don't have to have a minimum amount of um, settlers or anything like that, like some of the... Uh, some of the guys that uh, you can get, the level 4 traders, but like I said, this guy's probably the only one that isn't bugged right now, so go ahead and get yourself that one. Uh, so yeah, there you go, that is uh, the Vault Tech Rip guy um, from the beginning, and now he's living with us in our sanctuary. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, that was another unique rare power location guide, the Apocalypse Left Grieve location. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next one.